making her way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Megan. As the finishing touches get put on the cage, Byron, what are these superstars in for here tonight? Uh, they're in for the fight of their lives, Michael. In fact, I would go as far as to say that these superstars will likely never be the same after this one. Guys, we're moments away from seeing three of WWE's top superstars locked inside that cage. And as barbaric as that may sound, part of me thinks these three superstars wouldn't want it any other way. And you can bet these superstars will be looking to kick the new year off with a win here tonight. Cole, there is no way to understate just how important it is to go into the new year with momentum on your side. Here we go, steel cage action kicking off here. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Neck breaker. Oh, right to the body, that hurt. You gotta believe this one's over. Nailed it. Beautiful technique. Set it up. Neck breaker. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. Sleeper slam. Oh, 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 right to the skull. She's starting to sweat a bit. She might want to think about taking oh. a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. Any one of these three women can win this match. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants to get back into this thing. Swing neckbreaker. You gotta believe this one's over. <laughs> what a forearm. <laughs> look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Drop kick with precision. She got her good there. Drop kick. It hits the mark. She's in the driver's seat now. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen 
was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other, like WCW's Tower of Doom. Byron, right, we talked about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the Elimination Chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the Asylum match, where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. Ooh, what impact! Boom, what impact! This might be it! Oh my! What a strike! Man, she knows how to make a comeback! Beautiful technique! Oh, damage to the body! Ooh, right to the face! on that. Nice kick out. Look out! Harsh impact. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship goal was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. Beautiful technique. Oh, nasty impact. Man, this has been a great matchup. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Look at her go. Check this out. And here's how she finished this thing. Here is your winner, beautiful 